Hello everybody, I am back again. If you've been following me, you would have known that I've already done a video just now. Which is pretty amazing, seeing as I haven't been around for a while. Anyway, um, this video is possibly slightly more complicated than my last one, where I was explaining about Kiersey temperaments. Um, the thing is, is that I've also had this, been doing a bit of a series about functions and comparing judging functions and perceiving functions and uh, I just kind of had my gear set up today and I thought you know what I'm just going to do this video about comparing introverted feeling with introverted uh, thinking um, because I realized really that the other videos I've done where I've talked about extroverted feeling compared with extroverted thinking for example they've been much clearer and I've compared kind of sentences of things but the problem with introverted feeling and introverted thinking is that in a way they need to be illustrated more. I need to use a prop in order to show you kind of what the common ground of introverted feeling and introverted thinking is because basically the problem with this, these two functions is that they're both introverted judging functions and obviously I've already compared extroverted feeling with extroverted thinking. Um, in order to kind of illustrate the similarity between those two. But with introverted feeling and introverted thinking, it's much more difficult, um, mainly really because introverted feeling and introverted thinking are both incredibly complicated. Okay, so, and, and the other thing about them is that they are very internal and they're very hard to see the whole way that it works. Okay, so the reason that I'm kind of like doing this with a with a um, with a with a prop, which I'm going to show you, is a bit of a rubbish prop, I have to admit. But the reason I'm going to use this prop is because I can definitely show you mainly how introverted feeling works, and then I'll explain how introverted thinking is very similar to that in a very ironic and weird kind of way. Because I know that most videos really tend to concentrate on comparing introverted feeling, for example, with extroverted feeling which I think is not always, I mean obviously it's a, a, a way of comparing, but it's not always the most useful way of comparing these two functions. So basically here's my dreadful prop. So this is, this is I, obviously have, I obviously have two kids, two little boys, and basically over the years when they were young they ended up getting a lot of different kind of pens and sort of things to draw with, okay. Big, basically a big bag of junk. But the thing is, this is strangely like introverted feeling, and I know that may be slightly insulting to those of you that have introverted feeling, but I will explain why. Now, the thing about this bag is that it's absolutely crammed with all these different things and all these different colours. An introverted feeling tends to be quite similar to that, in that basically introverted feeling has an absolute plethora of colours of emotion. Okay, so if you imagine every single one of these colours represents an emotion and represents how someone feels, this is a very clear illustration of such a thing. Right, now the interesting thing of course about introverted feelers is that what they're trying to do constantly through their life is they're trying to sort these into categories and give them all names. Because I would imagine that for an introverted feeler, that basically even the vocabulary in English, which has plenty of words to do with how people feel, is probably not enough, really, to illustrate exactly how everything feels. And that's exactly what introverted feeling is constantly trying to do. Because it's trying to judge which one of these represents how they feel right now. You know, which, what's that doing? And what's that doing? And why is it that this is touching this? And why am I feeling both of these things at the same time? And why are all these things really kind of interconnected and linked? And why do they have to be arranged? I need to, you know, the, the introverted feeler is obviously thinking, Christ, I've got to arrange all these. You know, I've got to get all these together and figure out what they all mean. Which is why you will find that people that use introverted feeling are, are writing poetry and maybe writing books and things because, you know, it's like I'm trying to explain what this feels like. Can you really explain how this feels? I mean, obviously you can explain how it feels if you bash it over your head, which is probably not very comfortable. The other thing about introverted feeling 
and something which is kind of illustrated by this as well is that obviously one of the things you can't do is see the stuff in the middle is hidden inside and the thing about introverted feeling is that of course you might just see some glimpses of this you might just see a little bit you know you can just about see the outside and you can see what some of the outside emotions are but you can't really get an idea exactly what's going on in the middle and what why it's going on in the middle that's a complicated process and maybe as this thing gets more junked around and moved some bits of it will pop out to the outside and you will begin to understand even more about the introverted feeler and the way that they have such complicated and difficult to understand feelings now what's funny about it of course is that this isn't really that dissimilar to introverted thinking which is where i'm making the comparison okay so introverted thinking is just as complicated as this right the only difference is is that the introverted feeler doesn't really care sorry the introverted thinker doesn't care so much about obviously they care because they have uh, you know they have extroverted feeling as well but they don't care as much about how each one of these actually feels what you can kind of think of is that imagine that all of these colors here have lost their color right they're either black or they're white which is why for an INTP or an ISTP who has introverted uh, thinking first it, which is why they consider that the most important thing is the truth right so INTPs are mainly concerned with the truth and what that means to them and the thing is if it's all in black and white it's still just as complicated well in fact you know if you imagine this being a whole universe full of black and white then obviously it's not complicated enough but then that probably also counts exactly the same way for an introverted feeler too but if you imagine that that's just all black or all white you know it's got some of each one so it's a bit gray so what the INTP would be doing with this or the ISTP would be doing with this all of their lives is that they would be organizing things into either black or white and those things which are white well you can imagine that they're maybe false and all the things that are black are true and they don't really care about what they are or how they feel what they care about is whether or not they've categorized them correctly are they black or are they white and if you categorize it in the right position then you know that it's right which is why uh, um, introverted thinking really is a building block thing and it's the same with introverted feeling they're both building blocks by which to then assess the next thing so with introverted thinking it would sort out the first things which are correct okay it would say right if we know that these things are correct then we know that we can put this thing on top of that last thing and it will still be correct which is where kind of logic comes from okay whereas logic is saying that if you don't know that something's true in the first place you can't put anything on top of that okay so it's a bit like you know you imagine if you have a, a logic ladder and you know that the first rung is broken you can't climb up the ladder because you'll fall off the first rung because the first rung rung is wrong okay and that's how introverted thinking tends to think it says first rung is wrong you can't climb up the ladder don't do that so INTPs would generally or ISTPs would generally be saying right I need to sort out my first rung when I know my first rung so I put my first black rung down here and then I can put another one on top of it and another one on top of it and another one on top of it and that goes on all the way through their life because they're constantly trying to organize these complicated very very far too many thoughts and far too much information into the correct order you know by virtue of what they consider to be correct okay or the truth right which is why INTPs care so much about the truth so with INFPs on the other hand they would be saying well I know that if I mix this color with this color I can get a really interesting tone or I can explain what that tone is once I've got these things together or I can explain what they are and it might even be written down in a really complicated or emotional poem or some kind of interesting um, you know a bit of literature that they might write or even a piece of art that they you know that they're drawing or something it all tries to show how these things mix and how they mix so perfectly sometimes in an emotional way um, and it's probably why 
uh, why INFPs don't necessarily care so much about what's true, and they care much much more about how these things feel. Um, so really, that I hope that that kind of goes some way to explaining the similarity between um, introverted thinking and introverted feeling. Um, and the reason that then the reason I would say that it's much more difficult to compare extroverted feeling with it with introverted feeling, for example, which I know that a lot of people do, and they probably do the same thing with extroverted thinking and introverted thinking, is that basically they're very different things right from the start. You know, they're very not a fly flying around. They're, <laughs> they're a very very different thing from the start because one of them is in inwardly facing. You know. It's it's complicated by nature, whereas the things that are more outwardly facing are less complicated and easier to express, you know. And so, bearing that in mind, it would obviously mean, therefore, that introverted thinking is a much more complicated process than extroverted thinking, and the same way around with introverted feeling and intro and extroverted feeling. So I hope that goes to explain a little bit why. Um, the comparison between introverted feeling and um, introverted thinking and why they're a very similar process. Just think about the fact that, you know, the introverted thinker is saying, right, what's true? You know, what is true and what can I put on top of what is already true to make me get from one rung of the ladder to the next and know where I'm going with that and know how it makes sense and know why it's true. Okay. Whereas introverted feeling is obviously saying, Right, what are the... I, I need to categorise all these incredibly complicated inner feelings. Actually, one thing I didn't mention, which I will quickly do with this, is that, of course, with, with introverted feeling, these ones that are finally showing on the outside tend to be a lot more sensitive. And that's why when you talk to an INFP or an ISFP about their feelings, or you might first one and say, well, you know, you, you kind of break one of these pens, I'd be terribly upset because it meant something to them. You know, it was, this was important and it took a long time. You know, and often with introverted feeling, it doesn't talk about its feelings, of course. So they, if, if they do finally talk about this thing here, this pen, and you go and break it, then of course they'll be very upset. The thing, the the funny thing, of course, about the introverted thinker and a lot of these kind of scientist thinker types is that they're not really bothered if you break the pen and if you prove the thing is is white instead of black or black instead of white. But what they care about is the truth. So if you say, well, it's not, it's not white, it's black, then generally speaking, the INTP would just go, oh, yeah, you're probably right about that, and then you can explain to them why that's true, and they'll say, yeah, you're right about that. Whereas the introverted feeler will say. No, none of these things are wrong. They're just different colours. So don't attack them, please. Anyway, and with a little side note at the end. And I hope that shows, or at least it kind of gives you an idea about how, these, how those two different things work. And I shall speak to you another time soon. Goodbye.